heart of the deep dark woods of green. There's a special place that you have ever seen. It's a quiet world, only nature's voice you hear. One thing you must know, there are mysteries there unclear. When the rains give way to the sun, and the spores in the ground come alive, if you look real hard, you make no sound. Your eyes are soon to scan. Real fun guy that jumps and spins. They call him Mushroom Man. Mushroom Man, the Mushroom Man. The fun guy with feet and hands. Mushroom Man, the Mushroom Man. Go catch him if you can. Mushroom Man, written by Joyce Hovey. When the rains give way to the sun and the spores in the ground come alive, if you look real hard, make no sound. Rise are soon to scan. A real fun guy that jumps and spins. Fun guy with feet and hands, mushroom man, the mushroom man. Oh, catch him if you can. Illustrated by Drew Huseman and Mark Westfall. Walking in the woods one day, I stopped to look for a place to play. I sat on a rock and looked all around, and that's when I saw, quite close to the ground, a quaint little creature prancing about on squat tan legs, dancing in and out between the pebbles and under the brush. His speckled brown cap was a blur in his rush. I waited and watched, so enchanted was I, by this mushroom mite so lively and spry. Then out from gnarl and an old dead tree came a cluster of hickory jacks merrily to join their wood elfin friends in a game of something like tag, but not quite the same. They scampered and skipped, slid on leaves as they ran, but never quite caught the wee mushroom man. Around and around in a circle they hurried, but just out of reach the mushroom scurried. This frolicking lasted an hour or so till the hickory jack antics started to slow. Then tumbling together in a hickory jack pile of pieces and stems, they did rest for a while. So the mushroom man tipped his brown speckled cap and promised to play when they'd all had a nap. Then he ambled a bit in a curious way, looking no doubt for a new game to play. He paused by a bush, picked a leaf for a hat, examined a toadstool, looked at this, looked at that. Then he moved with an ease, such as I'd never ride, to a moss-covered knoll where he took a long slide, till he came to the bottom and stopped with a bump, cause right in his path sat a withered old stump. It was then that I knew that he had seen me. I was standing by now, twas much better to see. He didn't seem bothered, he just gave the wink, then did a few tricks that just tickled me pink. He spun like a top, did a few forward rolls, then walked like a stilt man without any poles. I laughed and he laughed, so merry were we, that we hadn't noticed coming round by the tree. A man and a woman, two kids by their side, they came up so quickly we neither could hide. They each had a basket to hold what they gathered. They were throwing in mushrooms like nothing else mattered. 
Now wait just a minute, I said with much haste. You best know what you're picking, for you take that first taste. Why, a sacrifice fungi, or a toadstool too, if eaten for dinner, could be curtains for you. Take that one over there. That's just an example. But it's one mushroom you should not ever sample. Why, just a small taste, a wee little bite. You never can tell. Might put out your light. Well, we'd never seen one quite like it before. Perhaps we'd just stop and not pick anymore. They said and then turned and went on their way. And I went home too. It had been a long day. But just for I left him, can you picture this? My mushroom man turned and threw me a kiss. Now I may tell this story and feel no disgrace. But like all mushroom hunters, I won't tell the place.